Hi folks, today we'll be doing our winter lantern craft. So you should have all of the bits and pieces assembled from your brown paper bag that you picked up at the library. The only additional bits that you will need will be some glue, uh, either craft glue or white Elmer's glue will work. Um, and I also use a paintbrush uh, for glue application uh, just because I get a little messy with my fingers. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. The first thing you're going to want to do is fold all of your bits and pieces along the score lines. This will make it a little bit easier to fold everything, especially after we've put some glue on. So you have your upper lantern wall bits. We're also going to have our smaller bits that will make up our lantern base. And then we've got some vellum for our windows along with our tea lights. Don't forget to fold down the little roofs. Uh, that will make it a lot easier to glue those in just a few moments. Okay, so to get started, we are going to first glue our two window walls next to each other. So make sure that you have both window walls facing the same direction and then go ahead and place some glue onto the long tab. Then you're going to be able to place your second lantern wall against that and attach those. And then shortly we'll fold all of these up into a nice little square after we've added our windows. And so the next thing we're going to do is attach our vellum windows. So this will give us that nice sort of um, shaded look once we have our tea light in. So you're just going to put some glue around the edge of each of the window boxes. I usually pop just a little bit of glue on the inside as well of the snowman, snowflake, reindeer, whatever design it is that you have. Um, I find that helps the vellum hold just a little bit. And you're just going to go ahead and do this for each of the four little windows that we have. And once we have our vellum squares attached to everything, uh, you can wipe off a little bit of the extra glue if you want, um, but it should be fine. And then we're going to go ahead and glue our long tab on the very edge to turn this into our square lantern. So just go ahead and give that another little fold to make sure it's good to go. Add some glue to that tab and then go ahead and attach that to the opposite end to create your square. You may need to kind of re-bend those score marks a little bit to get them um, and then just hold that together for just a second to make sure it really adheres and dries, um, especially depending on what kind of glue you're using. You have your square all ready to go. We're going to go ahead and tuck all of our top tabs in, and then we'll go ahead and glue these together to form the top of our roof. So just pop some glue onto the tab and then go ahead and attach it to the piece of roof next to it. Hold that again for just a second to make sure it adheres, and then just repeat that for the additional tabs. Once you have your roof all set up, now we're going to go ahead and assemble the base of our lantern. So this will hold our tea light. So the first thing we're going to do is take our long strip and we're going to pop just a little bit of glue onto this tab here um, so that when we fold it through and create the circle here, it's going to go ahead and uh, stick a little bit better. You can also pop just a little bit of glue under the other side of that tab if you want, um, but just kind of hold it for a second to make sure that it adheres. And then on one side, we are going to take our narrow circle and we're going to pop that on. And then on to the other side, we are going to take our square base and go ahead and pop that on. And then we're going to pull down the tabs on either side of these to and glue them down and attach them and make sure they kind of stay. So you're just going to want to pop some glue on the side of the tab that is closest to the ring in the square. And then you'll just hold those down, pause and hang on for just a second to make sure uh, that they finish drying.
we are now going to take our larger square base that will make up the actual bottom of the lantern and we're going to go ahead and create our little tray out of that. So you're just going to again fold up those sides and then we're going to pop a little bit of glue onto each of those end tabs. Fold those over so that they attach to the edge and then just hang on to them for a second to make sure that they adhere and dry. Now we're going to go ahead and pop some glue onto the top of the thin ring side of the candle holder that we made earlier. And then we're going to put that wider circle on top right there. And this is what's going to hold our tea light in and onto the base. And then we're just going to want to take our tea light and we're going to pop that right onto the base that we have created. Then we're going to flip our candle holder over put a little bit of glue on the bottom there, and then we're going to attach that down onto that base that we have created. This way your tea light lantern won't go shaking all over the place if anybody picks up your lantern. So we'll just go ahead and pop that down, give it a little press all along the bottom to make sure it stays. Then you can just flip this base over and flip on your tea light. And then you'll just take the top of your lantern and pop that right on and you are all set. Now you can put a little bit of glue on the inside of the base if you want to attach that bottom and the top together, um, but I personally like to be able to take my lantern off. I find it a little bit more flexible, so I don't usually do that. I hope you've enjoyed our craft today and we look forward to seeing you next time.